me as a babe. My babe. Babe with the power. Power of voodoo. Voodoo. Do, do, do. Remind me as a babe. I saw my babe. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Funko Pops and Comic Drops. I'm calling this part two, because I'm trying to be creative and I, you know, I'm failing. Anyway, got a lot of Funko stuff here, I got some new comics I wanted to show you guys, and let's see how quick we can make this video with all the awesome stuff I have to show you. Uh, starting with, uh, obviously I've already unboxed it, but yes, we are collectors to, um, well, we are subscribers to the Legion of Collectors box from Funko, and we got our Superman box finally. And since everybody's already, you know, done unboxings and they've been all over YouTube, I figured I would just show the, uh, show some of the pieces. Really, really love this. I'm not a big fan of the reaction figures, and that's what this looks like, but it's, you know, a rendition of the very first appearance of Superman. Just all kinds of nostalgia, and I really like this, and so I wanted to show it off. Moving on to some Funko Pops. Wanted to start with my son's uh, Scooby-Doo from Gemini Collectibles. This is the flocked Scooby-Doo. Uh, this was a little reward for him. Uh, he just went to the dentist not too long ago and at 14 and almost 14 and a half years old, still not one single cavity. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, so, you know, it was just a little thing for him and there you go. Flock Scooby-Doo. Now, he doesn't know that he's got this coming to him yet. I'm saving this for something else, but picked up the uh, E Triple C Captain America. Pull the box back here a little bit. I thought he was just really cool looking. Love the way the shield looks. It's just a cool piece. The box is in great shape too, but um, anyway, so he's got that coming. Big Captain America fan. All right, let's move on to some of my pops. Uh, these came from Hot Topic. Picked up the original Marvin the Martian. Now people don't realize this Marvin is actually a little different than the Marvin that they should have in the Funko Pop ride. So. Um, there's three different Marvins. There's this one. This is the first one as far as I know. Then the one in the Pop Ride. Then there'll be a Marvin coming out uh, in the Space Jam set that I just pre-ordered over at GameStop. And after Marvin, we've got some Poison Ivy from the animated series. Liked her a lot. And we've got the Hot Topic exclusive Donald from Kingdom Hearts. The difference, and I should unbox these. I just, I don't know, don't want to take up that time for you guys. He's got a hat. His hat's, you know. Picked up Jareth from The Labyrinth. Now, this is my little tribute to David Bowie. I am actually looking for the other Jareth pop. I did like Labyrinth as a movie, um, not ashamed to admit it, but the only pop I really wanted was Jareth, uh, because it is David Bowie. So I'm looking for the Hot Topic exclusive. I'll probably have to go to eBay, but that's okay. Uh, it goes along with my um, Dr. Frank Inferter pop, which I picked up really, well, it, it is cool, but it's Tim Curry. So anyway, I've shown that one before, I'm pretty sure. And then, to go with all my Godzilla Pops, I finally went and got him from Hot Topic. Kong from Skull Island. Now, as far as I know, this is the only version of Kong that Funko has released as a pop. I'm waiting for the Flock version to come out. They haven't announced it, but you know they're going to have to make one. So whenever that happens, I'll be getting that one too. They need to make some more, like, big monsters, like Mecha Kong, Mecha Godzilla, that kind of thing. All right. These came from FYE. I picked up the Chippendale 2-pack from Kingdom Hearts. 
and I picked up the regular Goofy from Kingdom Hearts. Because my GameStop only had the GameStop exclusive, and now I've got the regular one. Which leaves me missing only the Black and White Pete, which is a Walmart exclusive. Which I don't even know if it's released yet, but I'm looking for them, waiting for them. If your Walmart has one, uh, let me know. Um, but yeah, so far my Walmarts, there's only two in Cheyenne, uh, have not had the Black and White Pete. But I'm looking. Right. Also from FYE, oh, picked up a Silver Surfer. Actually, my son picked it out. He said he wanted a Silver Surfer, and they had one, so I bought it. And most importantly from FYE, at least as far as I'm concerned, the FYE exclusive, Michael Corleone. Uh, the only difference is his suit is a different color. Uh, then the regular one. This is a gray suit. I think it's a blue suit in the regular edition and There is a Barnes & Noble exclusive again. My Barnes & Noble hasn't had it yet I haven't been able to pre-order it anywhere uh, From Barnes & Noble or on their site, but basically the difference is he's gonna have a hat it, But it's Michael Corleone from the Godfather. I'm gonna own it Okay, what else we got we got some Barnes & Noble I picked up a flocked cat in a hat. I didn't actually pick up the regular cat in a hat. I don't really know why. Maybe I should. Uh, I enjoyed the books. My son enjoyed the books. But this one's flocked. It's kind of cool. So I bought it. Now, to go along with the flocked cat in a hat, I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive flocked Sam I Am. Now, if you remember from the last time when I showed the regular Sam I Am, my absolute favorite Dr. Seuss book, Green Eggs and Ham, my son's favorite Dr. Seuss book when he was little. He loved this book. So I, I got the regular Sam. Now I've got the flocked Sam. And now I also have, just because it was there, I picked up the Barnes & Noble exclusive Heffalump. He's pink and blue. Uh, so he's kind of cool. All right, got some more pops over here. God, I forgot I had so many. We might just do pops this video. Okay. Found this from a guy on Facebook to add to my Universal Monster collection. Trying to get all the Universal Monster Pops, Glow-in-the-Dark, regular, flocked, all of them. This is the Glow-in-the-Dark Bride of Frankenstein, and she does glow. I mean, it's just her face, but she glows like a champ. So, really cool. Got her for a decent price. What else? Oh, and since I showed the uh, reaction figure... There is my classic Superman from the Funko Collector's Box. My son, not a huge Superman fan, but uh, I am, so I got him. Okay, more Funkos, more Funkos. What have we got? Oh, the stars of the Funko Pop Show, as far as I'm concerned. I was able to pick up Blue Falcon. And you can't pick up Blue Falcon if you don't pick up Dino Mutt. I'm just so excited that I got these guys. Again, loved the cartoon when I was a kid. These are my favorite Hanna-Barbera characters right here. My son likes Scooby-Doo. I don't know if he's ever seen Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt. You can't really find them a whole lot anymore uh, on TV. But I just love these guys, so got them. Okay, what else? Oh, I want to show you this. Picked this up from GameStop. Uh, actually, the manager was really cool. Knows that my son and I play Lego Dimensions. I'll put him right there. He's kind of small. But it's the Lego Dimensions Green Arrow. And what's cool about him is that he was a limited edition giveaway that they had. I don't even know what day they were giving him away, but there it is. There, I kept the wrapper because if you ever lose a piece, you can go online and... and Put the, uh, the set number and uh, ask for the piece, and they usually send you the piece for free. If not, it's a couple bucks or something deal. But So I want to show you guys that. All right. I think that's it for the Funkos and the toy. No, I lied. One more Funko piece. But it's not a pop. I've got a Dorbs. And I don't do a lot of Dorbs, but my son loves... He loves his favorite color is green. He's a big Green Lantern fan. That is a... Of course, the Chase Edition Glow-in-the-Dark Dorb. 
A uh, fun story behind this, great story by, uh, behind this. Uh, we were actually at uh, one of our Walmarts, and it was like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And of course, whenever I went to Walmart, we go to the toy section. And they didn't really have anything, but I saw this guy. Um, he's an acquaintance. I mean, he's a nice guy. I don't know him real well. His name's Gideon. But I see him around the, the LCS from time to time. Real, real nice guy. And he had this in his hand. And I said, oh, well, that's cool. Um, that's cool that you found that. Congratulations. And then we left. Well, later on that night, I was on Facebook, and I got an instant message from somebody I had no idea who the heck it was. And it turned out he was a friend of Gideon's, and Gideon used his account to find me and message me to say that they had been looking for me, they had decided not to buy this, and that they wanted somebody that would appreciate to have it, and that he had left it hidden in the back of where the rest of the Funko Dorbs were. So he didn't, like, hide it behind the towels or something. He put it back where the Dorbs were. He had just put it in the back. And he said, if you want it, that's where it is. Sorry we couldn't find you uh, before you left, but, you know, if you want it, go get it. So I actually went back to the store, and sure enough, went through the Dorbs and found it, bought it. It glows. It's awesome. Uh, if you happen to watch my videos, Gideon, thank you very much. My son is really appreciative of it. And he likes it a lot. All right. Okay, we're at 10, 11 minutes. We can fly through some comics. Starting with our Superman from the Funko Box. Next, uh, the GameStop that I'm that's closest to me, they were going through their stuff. They found some comic books. This is Justice League Power Rangers number one, the GameStop variant. And they said, hey, you should get that. And I said, yeah, I will. All right. This is a series I started to show you guys before, but uh, this is uh, some more of it. Injustice, Ground Zero. Injustice told from the point of view of Harley Quinn. This is number two. Number three, and I really like that cover. That is a fantastic cover. You know, I'm going to move my finger away from the Joker's nose there. Didn't mean to pick the Joker's nose. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. As far as I know, issue eight has not come out yet. But I'll get it. All right. Going back to uh, Marvel and some Monsters Unleashed. Uh, I was going through my comicshop.com and uh, Midtown Comics, and this popped up, and I didn't even realize this had come out. This is issue number two. Now, I've already shown you issue number one. And number two of my Francesco Francavilla variants. Again, hoping I'm saying the name right. But I missed out on this. This is the one in ten um, cover of issue number two. This is from Jack Kirby Month. Let me move my hand so you can see the Jack Kirby Month picture there. And so that's like a rendition of a Jack Kirby cover. I, and so it's Jack Kirby. You have to get it, right? You have to. So I did. All right, and I also picked up Monsters Unleashed number three. This is the Francesco Francavilla variant. Again, big, big fan of this artist. I just If you're not familiar with him, check him out. He's obviously you know, moving up in the world a little bit, and I'll, I'll show you why here in a little bit, why, why I say that. But this is uh, Monsters Unleashed number four, the Francesco Francavilla variant. I also picked up R.L. Stein's uh, run of Man Thing. This is number one. Got all excited. R.L. Stein. So, you know that's going to be hot. And going back to Francesco Francavilla, he did a 1 in 25 cover variant for Man Thing number one. And so that is now mine and in my collection. All right, guys. Well, that is really all I have to show you right now. Oh, I guess I can show you this. Hold on. Okay, this is just fun. 
I know everybody's probably got this, and I'm just trying to come lately, but I picked up Mortal Kombat XL from GameStop. I'm not telling my son that I have this because I'm going to open it, I'm going to play it, I'm going to become good at it, and then I'm going to tell him, tell him I have it, and so I could beat him at at least one video game. That's, that's the plan. Petty as it sounds, uh, he just kicks my butt on almost everything else that we have on the, on the video game system, so this, this is my little secret. So don't tell him. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, sign off. That's about, yeah, about right. Uh, I will give you a little teaser, though. Stay tuned to the Golden Car Comic Channel. I have a major Grail unboxing coming up. It's not here yet. It's on the way. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So stay tuned to Golden Car Comics. Become a subscriber if you want to make sure not to miss it. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.